Hey guys, today I'm going to have a little break from the norm and instead of reviewing a game, as usual, I'm going to review a magazine. The magazine in question is Retro Gamer, which pretty much does what it says on the tip. As you probably figured out, this mag is dedicated to retro gaming. It seems to focus more on the 16-bit era and earlier, though there have been articles on the N64 and Sega Saturn, as well as covering retro consoles such as Mega Drive, NES and Atari VCS. Articles related to retro computing also appear frequently, so if you're a fan of the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, Com Commodore Amiga or BBC Micro, it's well worth a read. I'm lucky enough to have a subscription to this magazine and I've really enjoyed all of the issues I've read so far. I always look forward to the next issue, with issues being released every four weeks. So, what makes this magazine so awesome? Well, first off, the writers really have a passion for the games they're telling you about, and it really shines through in the articles. There's none of the drab reporting like in some magazines, with every article making you want to check out the games they're referring to. In addition, whilst Retro Gamer is a little on the pricey side at 4.99, you really get your money's worth, as there's next to no advertising, meaning the vast majority of the 114 pages are dedicated to Retro Gaming. The magazine is accessible to pretty much anyone with even a slight interest in gaming. You don't have to be an expert to understand what they're on about. The pages are bursting with colour, with the images illustrating the writer's points very nicely. All in all, it's professional yet friendly, and informative yet accessible. The perfect combination in my opinion. Now, let's take a look inside one of the issues to give you an idea of what to expect. I've chosen issue 90, which was a special edition produced to coincide with the 25th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda. The first segment of the magazine is the Retro Radar section, which covers news regarding the retro gaming world. This might mention upcoming retro events or upcoming games which could be considered retro in nature, as we see here with the article on Sonic Generations. They also have a couple columnists, Ian Lee and Paul Davis, and point out the latest retro goodies on sale. I also like the second section, which takes you back to the 80s and 90s and tells you about the latest news stories, both in the gaming world and society in general. Scattered throughout the magazine are short articles called Reader's Revival and Retro Revival, the former being written by readers, the latter by regular contributors. This being a special edition, there's a feature on the Zelda series, followed by the less complimentary Retro Shamer article, which talks about games to avoid. Providing the bulk of issues are the making of sections, which are pretty self-explanatory, and Bluffers' guides to systems and articles on classic gaming companies also appear frequently. You often find these ultimate guides to games, the title featured in this article being somewhat predictably the original Legend of Zelda. Then you have collector's guides, which I imagine would be very useful if, if you're just getting into a system, and the, the unconverted segment, which covers games that haven't been ported to home consoles and may therefore be unfamiliar to some of you born after the golden age of arcade gaming, such as myself. Next up is the Future Classic, which describes more modern games that the author believes will become classics. This is followed by the Desert Island Disc section, which featured a figure from the retro gaming scene and asked them about their favourite games as well as their experiences in the industry. Rounding off the issue are the reviews, Homebrew News, Let's, and this interesting page called Endgame, which depicts the closing sequences of games. So, I'd say there's definitely something in there for everyone, whatever your preferences are in gaming. If it looks like your kind of thing, I'd highly recommend you try and find some, somewhere to find issues. I really can't stress how much I enjoy this mag enough. If you live in the UK, I think you should be able to find it in most good news agents. If you live in the US or elsewhere, it might be a bit trickier, but they have a website, www.retrogamer.net, which I believe enables you to get a subscription. Sure, it might not be the best mag to buy if you're wanting all the latest news in gaming, but it does a really good job of highlighting classic games from the past which are largely ignored by mainstream magazines. I've enjoyed every page of the magazine, well, apart from the ads, anyway, and I'm sure you will too, given that you must be into retro games to be watching this video. The magazine gets 10 out of 10 from me. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I've heard another video soon. Bye.